good evening to all of you good evening brilliant thank you very much i am salil i am part of a business head with hd media group uh they acquired last year uh, as uh, uh thank you very much gentlemen it's an honor it's a pleasure today we are looking at textile and it's favorite to me i think uh, we are globally known for having the best uh, textile manufacturing plants in india right from you know growing cotton to actually spinning you know creating clothes and apples like right? financial but export orientation has been a lot of uh, there i was going through some data as well and it's i was very pleased to see that you know there was a time when we were like treated the world textile uh, hub as such then that time came up that you know we went down but last 4 or 5 years we have started picking up lot of uh, improvements in the textile so all kudos to you guys for for being with us uh, and doing that but then last two years last two and a half years the pandemic has actually given us something different aspect i talked to manufacturers today uh, they realized that their investment into a technology versus their investment into manufacturing was having an imbalance uh due to which we had shut down of the manufacturing plants because of the pandemic the labor went across to their hometowns supply chain was disrupted from raw material to inventories to be exhausted uh and those are the big challenges how we become more resilient we say china plus one right so we have china that we may we have an in india as well but whenever we are having a discussion around manufacturing for india being plus one okay. we always fail we want to be the manufacturing hub of the globe uh, we want to do better but we always fail somewhere right and and i think today's discussion is also around that from a you people you know new age companies like your uh, and the, the traditional companies who are there with us today there are mixed views which we see uh, we see the intersection of textile manufacturing and technology may be lagging somewhere maybe lagging somewhere what are the issues there second part of the discussion is about how to create the the this sort of transformational agenda and resetting the playbook i think that's where uh, first discussion should come out while india uh, is coming out resilient from a macro economic factors perspective today thank you everyone uh, for uh, being here and i really look forward to having a very engaging conversation today uh like uh, sali mentioned uh, there are multiple we can leverage this conversation and uh, the takeaways that are coming going to come out from this conversation we plan to take this really seriously in terms of actions that we incorporate as an industry and taking this uh, to the right uh, forums amongst the policy makers and make this voice heard and uh, that's the objective and i really look forward to supply chain disruption has created a big opportunity for india right now this opportunity has been encashed by us or not is the big question what do you feel have we have we really leveraged this opportunity have we not leveraged this opportunity what are the issues you are facing around it individual organization as an industry as a you know spokesperson of the industry feel free to start that the supply chain is definitely the basis for any growth and uh, i am sorry to say we have failed to realize that in india even today we are not very serious about building a robust supply chain during this year 21 22 when people called 20 people and nobody offered anything at any price then the realization came that uh, do we have somebody whom we can really depend on 100% we have orders in hand we have production in hand but we do not have the supply we have got inquiries from foreign brands who want to start production units in india and and compared to that the indian awareness is much less got it so if you want to really scale up um, be china plus one today we need to be alert and aware to this fact very nice point when people are setting up the manufacturing plant but the awareness is not there we need to have a mindset of growth and that price mindset is going and uh, not going to help us scale up a lot so that i i think is the change that's required investment in technology in digitization is very very important and uh, currently people are probably investing little bit more on machines but less on digitization you do digitization to monitor the issues and then you can solve those issues so that is missing in india we are still i would say in india uh, 
very very basic in terms of uh, digitization in complete supply chain mm. and another point i want to make is that there has to be a link between you know all the different verticals the whole supply chain is got disrupted now some people have their inten- intentional disruption by raising the prices some is the global impact of the let's say for example cotton prices going up some is generally supply is not available we see five pillars across change which has to happen how are we resetting the playbook for that from a from a perspective of what customers are feeling customers are kind of uh, also seeing that a lot of people are embracing uh, the new changes and all and customers are also moving as quick as maybe quicker than us customer has absolutely moved faster than us right i mean everybody including personally us ourselves we have moved our, our kids have moved on and you know the way they see the world the way we used to see the world is completely different it is not going to go back right uh, but then have we changed so fast transformation happens with a change agent in this case it was a platform yeah right now if you really see the supply chain changes there yes it's phenomenal in the last few years you can see every single pin code in this country is reachable it's only technology we need to do the same transformation in the supply side of exactly the style and the fashion value yes. chain the trust in the supply chain is through relationship codified trust